Hello and welcome to the tour of my kegging operation. Currently in my sunroom, which is an un-AC, <laughs> does not have HVAC in it. It does have a little, um, somewhat of a AC um, down here, but you have to manually turn it on. So this is my kegging room. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of my stuff I have going on, so let's do it. So as you can see right here, I have two um, large and different uh, kegging equipment things. I have a four tap keyser, which is this thing right here. And we'll hop into everything in it in just a moment. And I have a three tap kegerator. So both of these are new air products. And I will say that um, I got both of these from new air. So shout out to them. And let me go ahead and hop into each one. In total, I have seven taps. So I have three right here and I have four right here. So on this side, in the three tap keyser, I currently have about, well, I do a lot of water. So I have a lemon and lime water, a braggot, and a, a macadamia blossom hydromel. Now, this thing was originally a single tap kegerator, and I basically just bought the three tap tower and took off the old actual single tap. You can see my dog very sadly looking here, but it's my mess. This is the old tap. Um, I'm still going to, uh, I have an idea for it. So it's currently sitting there, but it used to be a single tap. It's now a three tap uh, kegerator. Inside, looks like just a normal fridge, of course, but inside you can see I have three kegs. So um, like I said, I do a lot of water. So I drain through a lot of this water one quite a bit it's right here. And this is a five gallon, five gallon, and then a three gallon uh, ball lock keg. That's kind of all I exclusive, exclusively use. Back here, I don't know if I can show you, this is my CO2 tank, and that's a five pound tank. And then um, I have a manifold, or a four tap, yeah, manifold right here. That's where everything's connected to. I had to, of course, add that because that was not originally in here. Seeing as how this was a single tap originally, that was not part of it, but this is really nice. That's three of my seven taps. I also have the keyser or keg freezer. So this has a drip tray, which is really nice. I also have, of course, my four taps. I have them labeled in kind of a scotch tape ghetto manner. So that's just what's going on right here, which is kind of dumb. Um, my four things I have on tap right now are these things, an IPA, my apple and cinnamon mead, which is one that I really love, an imperial blonde, and this orange blossom traditional. Inside, I actually, I'll spoil this for you. I did not come up with this design. This is stolen from doing the most. Um, I followed his Keyser build, which he basically has the same new air freezer that he converted. So I'm gonna link to that video because it's great and uh, it'll show you exactly how to create all these things. I'll also probably link down to another ke uh, kegerator kind of build something like that for you too. So in here, this is just like a chest freezer, I've got my tank, my five pound CO2 tank, and I have four kegs. So um, I also have basically a short rundown from CO2 tank goes into a four tap manifold. These are my CO2 uh, connections. Each connection goes to a keg. And right now I'm pressure carving this keg right here. So I have all of my taps turned off except for this one. And I'm currently shooting towards uh, 30, about 30 PSI to force carb. But I have all four of my taps set up. I have, a, this is a five gallon uh, keg. They're all ball lock kegs. Five gallon, five gallon. And this is a three gallon that I just recently got. And uh, I, I like the size of it, especially because I needed something a little bit smaller. I don't think I could have fit, actually, I don't know. I've never tested those waters, but I don't think I could have fit anything larger right there. So this is really, really nice. And uh, it's pretty easy to build. Um, I will, of course, show that video to you. Between my seven taps I have here, I can have a ton of stuff on. One of my goals in life is to be able to have 
a beverage for anyone who comes over. So I have a water for those people. I have uh, just straight up Hydromel light ABV stuff for those people. I have a Braggot for my people who want to experiment into the beer realm. I have straight up beers, you know, traditional meads, all those things. The goal is to have something for everyone. So that's my setup. Is it perfect? No, I honestly probably uh, could do better with it in some ways. But some people were asking me, hey, what does your setup look like? That's what it, is. it looks like. So I hope you've enjoyed this. My encouragement to you, if you want to really get into kegging slash get into serious weed making and, and carbonating, try to get a kegging or forced carb operation. Um, I do have a little, I'll show a picture of it. Um, I have a single gallon keg that I use for some things. Um, I'm currently trying to carbonate something with it. I haven't had great success, but that's also an alternative for anyone who wants to do that. But force carb is the best way to make brews that are force carbed and you can actually control what sugars you use. If you have to bottle carb, you'll run into some issues. But I hope you've enjoyed this, my seven taps, and I'll see you in the future. Cheers.